welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to do a uh, finding of wheel one, and this will be labeled, I think, part three. And uh, to save some time, uh, we actually run this yesterday, but I wanted to show you the dial. And uh, we do this safe opens right, left, right. So what we do is we go, whoop, let me do it. Well, if I can get going the right way, go right. And you do it at least three turns. So you pick up wheel one and you can feel the resistance in this when you pick up the wheels. So what we found for wheel one was 65 so we set that right there at 65 and then we go back left and we found that 20 was for wheel two and as soon as we started turning this back left wheel three picked up you had to go past 20 and then that way it picks up wheel two and you bring it around here to 20 and set it at 20 and then the last number uh, which is wheel 3 is direct drive and we were opening that at 91 and lo and behold it opens and the reason I left this scale on here I just wanted to show you when you actually open it how much uh, deviation or drop you get when you go actually go in there the other thing I want to show about this safe is it has a combination lock and it has a key lock and we have had the key lock well it's actually locked it's turned to the 12 o'clock position we've got turned to the three o'clock position and I've got a uh, tubular key on here I just wanted to show you what the back of that looks like and there will be this slow part right there and we've got to actually lock that and when I push that in, you can see that turn right there. And that prevents this mechanism from sliding. So you've got two locking mechanisms on this safe. So we'll turn it back to the open position, that part right there. And like I say, we've got the combination. Now the next step would take <coughs> the numbers that we retrieved in manipulation and actually look on the back and see where they actually are and the first one you'd find is wheel three then you'd find wheel two and if you actually pull that back out of there you can see the depth in there wheel two is right behind wheel three and then wheel one is the very first one and you can manipulate them and then actually read the numbers when you uh, get to wheel three, you can actually read it. Uh, so that pretty well finishes everything up. Uh, you can actually dial, instead of doing right, left, right, you can do left, right, left. Uh, the second wheel, because of the fixed flies, will vary by five, the number five on the combination. And the first wheel will vary uh, about 10. And that's in a book that my son will cover in another video. But that pretty well wraps it up. Give us a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, we appreciate it. And that's about all I have for right now. Thank you very much for watching.